It is 8.45 on July 21st, 2024. This is footage that I took at the Trump rally that took place in Grand Rapids about a week after he was uh, shot in the ear. Uh, as soon as it was announced, I told my wife, like, I got to go. I went to the last one in 2019, and I just wanted to check what the vibe was and make something out of it. And all my footage was terrible. Um, I didn't really engage with the crowd that much. There was no, like, protesters. There was only a few there. I left maybe an hour before the event started. Uh, this is them going down Grand Rapids. This is the main line here. And those are people walking all the way back to find the end of the line. And then, so even some of my footage is I sequence. Um, good things, the Grand Rapids police did a great job sectioning it off. They had a lot more barriers than they did last time, keeping people on track. And um, which is good because the crowd was about four times more than it was last time. Uh, a lot of a lot of booths. That's a nice cream truck that I thought was kind of funny to have out there, and they made a killing. Good for them. Seeing the the homeless that are down there, like interspersed throughout this. Um, I think some of them got displaced with the uh, giant line that was going on here. Um, these poor women. They had a uh, wedding and bridal pictures. Um, Knew nothing about this because it was planned within five days of Ann Andel. But the crowd was in really good spirits. They weren't super, like, defiant or anything like that. But there was no, like, opposing force. Um, as we get closer to Van Andel, I was looking for them, and they just weren't there. I don't think they showed up at the event too much either. Um, I think a lot of these people were just happy to be with people that wouldn't ostracize them for their political beliefs, which I get, even though, man, this guy does not deserve it. Um, just a lot of t-shirts, a lot of stuff that is referencing the shooting. Um, so a lot of people swapping out their Trump Pence gear for Trump Vance because that decision was also made. Um, like I said, uh, the Trump fight, 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 uh, shirt was a hot seller. Um, yeah, I can blend pretty well. So people didn't really give me any problems. Um, and looking at the people, uh, primarily white, a lot of those Hispanic there too. Um, probably actually the breakdown of Grand Rapids, despite fewer black people. Um, most of the black people were actually either in a mixed relationship was interesting, or they were um, they were selling stuff. So as you go down here, and it's not just uh, the typical overweight Walmart people. Um, it was people of all sizes. Um, some brought the whole families out, and that's always sad to see. Uh, there was this Middle Eastern family that was in three-piece suits, just getting blasted in this heat. Um, yeah, this footage is still out of sequence. I didn't have any trouble. I I blend in pretty well. I wasn't really going for interviews or anything like that. But last time, it seemed like more of a circus, but that wasn't during an election period. That was like two or three years into his term. Uh, this is right outside the front gates here. Um, those women we just panned from, they're saying Governor Whitmer uh, staged her kidnapping. And they're being interviewed by someone. I saw a couple uh, cable news outlets and then the local were out there, which it's news. Um, first rally after uh, after the shooting and after the convention. Uh, again, cops on bikes, cops on horses, cops on feet. I saw some undercover cops. Uh, one person asked me if I was an undercover cop. Another person asked me if my camera was a range finder. Uh, so I told them no. This is Van Andel. This is the, uh, this is the, the Trump Vance, uh, rally. And, uh, I'm bummed. Thanks for watching.